The sound of breaking glass echoed in the silent room as the vase hit the floor. Jungkook was heading towards his room when he stopped and turned towards you. You quickly knelt down as your face flushed with embarrassment. I'm sorry, it just slipped from my hands. He said looking up at him, Jungkook's eyes softened slightly and he made his way towards you. It's fine. Are you okay? You looked at him and then slowly nodded. Yes, I'm fine. He started to collect the pieces of broken vase while he helped you. Your hands brushed against each other accidentally and your eyes met but he quickly looked down before getting up. I'm sorry. You didn't say anything then he went near the dustbin before throwing all the pieces into the dustbin. It was your favorite vase. I'm so sorry. He slightly looked at you as you really felt so bad. It's okay, nothing can be done now. He walked upstairs in his room while you looked at your hand. You could still feel his touch. You picked the flowers that were in the vase and put it inside the other one. He didn't say anything but I know he must be sad. Ash, why I'm so clumsy. How can someone see me as a wife when I'm still like a small child who ruins everything? You had been married to Jungkook for a few months now and though he was cold and distant, he was never rude. You gave him space thinking he might need time to adjust. You tried to be patient, hoping he would eventually open up with you. You both sleep in different bedrooms and you're fine with that. After all, you both were strangers before the marriage and even you don't know how to overcome this awkwardness. Sometimes his cold nature holds you back from getting comfortable with him but you know, some people are built different. They don't easily get comfortable but when they do, that is for the lifetime and you know that things will surely turn fine. Jungkook walked into his room, closing the door softly behind him. He leaned against it for a moment, his thoughts drifting back to when your hands brushed against his while you were both picking up the broken vase pieces. He looked down at his hand, feeling an inexplicable warmth that he hadn't felt in a long time. He sat on the edge of the bed, his mind replaying the moment, the gentleness of your touch, the softness in your voice when you thanked him. It all stirred something inside him that he had tried to suppress for years. He clenched his hand into a fist, trying to shake off the unfamiliar sensation. Jungkook's thoughts shifted to the past, to the painful memories that still haunts him. He remembered his first love, the way she had looked at him with despise, her harsh words when she said that he's a terrible person and no woman would want someone like him, someone who doesn't understand emotions. Those words had left a scar that never truly healed. They had planted seeds of doubt and self-loathing, making him believe he was incapable of love, that he would only bring pain to those who get close to him. After that breakup, he had built walls around himself, distancing himself from everyone. He buried himself in work, focusing on his career and shutting out any possibility of emotional attachment. It was easier that way, less painful. He convinced himself that he was better off alone, that he was protecting others from his inability to love. When he married you, it was out of obligation and family pressure, not love. At least, that's what he told himself. He didn't want to hurt you, didn't want you to see the broken, self-doubting person he had become. So he kept his distance, remaining cold and silent, hoping you would eventually give up and leave him be. But now as he sat there replaying the moment when your hands touched, he felt something change. It wasn't just the warmth of your touch, it was the kindness in your eyes and the patience in your voice. For the first time in years, he felt a glimmer of hope, a possibility that maybe he wasn't as bad as he believed. Yet fear still gripped his heart tightly. He was afraid of letting you in, worried that he would end up hurting you like he had been hurt. I don't know at which point in life I'm standing. I don't want to hurt her. I've always been a terrible person. She's very innocent and she deserves better. The next day when Jungkook returned from work, he noticed something different in the living room. 
The same kind of vase that had broken yesterday was now sitting in its place, looking as if it had never been shattered. He walked over to it, inspecting it closely. It was an exact match, a rare piece that he knew wasn't easy to find. He was still staring at the vase in disbelief when he walked into the room. I see you noticed the vase. He slowly turned towards you and you smiled softly. How did you find this? It's a rare piece. You walked over to him meeting his gaze. I know it's a rare piece and I also know that how much you adore this. You said looking at the vase, Jungkook can't take his eyes off you. Luckily, one of my friends has a business related to poetry. I asked him where I could find a vase like this and he helped me track it down. You said turning your face towards him with a smile. Jungkook felt a wave of emotion he couldn't quite name. You went through all that trouble just to replace this. You nodded your smile warm and genuine. I know it meant a lot to you and I didn't want you to feel bad about it breaking. I wanted to make it right. I know it's not the same that you brought but this is all I could do. You didn't have to do that. It was a mistake so you didn't have to trouble yourself. You know, when you care about someone, doing things for them doesn't trouble you. All you could think about is to see a smile on their face. He didn't know how to respond or act in this situation. The walls he had built around him seems to break but he still thinks he's a terrible person and doesn't deserve. I made an attempt to do the same. It's okay if you don't smile. Maybe one day you will definitely do. He gulped as you are still sweet and kind towards him. Thank you. Uh, I'll go and change now. You nodded as you could feel he got awkward. He was not even looking at you. Sure, but can we have dinner together? I've made something special and don't worry. I've tasted it myself and it's not bad. He looked at you and gave a nod before walking away. You walked near the vase and traced your fingers on its surface. I know it must have made him happy. But what could be the reason of for his actions? I could see a fear in his eyes. What could that be? You knew something was pulling him back from taking a step forward. No matter how much he wanted to open up, a fear seems to surround him and he wanted to know what that is. At the dinner table, you nervously placed the dishes you had prepared in front of Shankar. The first time you had cooked for him, it had been a disaster and the memory still made you cringe. Jungkook hadn't said anything at the time but you could tell from his expression that he was being polite. I hope this will match your taste this time. I was careful and did my best. He looked at you. You don't need to do all this. This is not strictly your job. He sat on the chair opposite to him. I know this isn't my job but I want to learn everything now. I'm a married woman. I don't feel good when you have to cook after coming back from work. That's not your job as well, right? He lowered his eyes. The food on the plate looks good compared to earlier. He silently picked the spoon and took a bite. You were curiously looking at him waiting for his reaction. You had put in extra effort this time and strictly followed the recipes. To your relief, he ate calmly and his face not showing any discomfort. How is it? You asked trying to keep your voice steady. Jungkook looked up meeting your eyes. It's good. He said simply continuing to eat. A smile spread across your face as you felt relieved by his compliment. I'm glad you like it. I was a bit worried after last time. He just gave a nod without looking at you. This is good. You also started eating and there was a pin drop silence which you don't really like. You were happy that he was enjoying the food although his, his straight face makes it hard to see what he feels. 
Jungkook finally looked up as he was feeling your eyes on him and you weren't even eating and was just looking at him but as soon as he lifted up his face he started eating looking down He looked at him how was your day at work just a regular busy day Oh, I understand that's why you always look stressed. Handling a big company can be very difficult. He just gave a nod and you again ate in silence. Thanks for the dinner. It was really good. He said standing up while you felt heat in your cheeks. I'm happy that you like it. He started collecting the plates but you stopped him. It's okay, I will do it. He looked at you, but you've been working all day today. You must be tired. I'll clean this now. You got up and shook your head. I'm not tired. Just leave it. I'll do it. He stayed there for some time. I'm fine, Jungko. Let me handle this. He sighed and nodded before leaving. Jungkook came in his room and it started to rain outside. He stood near the window for some time as the sound of rain soothes his mind. His mind is a mess right now, unable to know what he is even doing. You are such a pure soul who is doing so much for him and he can't even show you any love. He wants to break these walls to know whether he is really terrible or she wasn't the right person but she had created a deep fear inside him who always pulls him back when he tried to attach to someone. He walked towards his desk and opened his laptop decided to finish some work as he is not feeling sleepy. He was deep into his thoughts when a sudden knock on his door brought him back in reality. He got up and opened the door surprised to see you standing there. You gave him an awkward smile looking a bit uneasy. Is everything okay? He asked a bit concerned. Yes, sorry to disturb you. Actually, I'm a little afraid of thunderstorms and was also feeling a little lonely, so can I stay in here for a while? He looked a bit surprised and hesitant but he can't even say no after all you are his wife he stepped back leaving you a space to come in you smiled and walked inside Thank you so much he closed the door before walking inside and saw how curiously you were looking around the room your eyes were shining with curiosity It was the first time you had been in there since you got married. You sat on the edge of the bed trying to make yourself comfortable. Do you always work this late? You asked trying to start a conversation. Sometimes he replied walking to his desk. There's always something that needs to be done. You nodded watching him for a moment before letting your eyes wander around the room again. Your room is nice. It feels very organized. Thanks. He said glancing at you for some time before returning to his work. You got more curious about knowing him. You wanted to know what he feels about you. Why he's like this or does he love you or it was just an arranged marriage that he still couldn't accept and is living with you just because of his responsibility. Are you busy? He shifted his attention from the laptop to you. Do you need something? You shook your head. Not really, I just asked. He knew you want to talk and you'll get bored if he keeps doing his work. He closed his laptop. You can tell me if you want. Your face brightened up. Really? Well, Since it's raining, I thought why not to play truth and dare. He frowned. Truth and dare. You know it. You must have played this in school or college. Even though he was not really in the mood, but for your happiness, he nodded.
fine really then let's start we will he looked around and saw an empty bottle of whiskey jungkook felt so embarrassed when he followed your eyes i'm sorry it's just he said grabbing it as he didn't know you'll come in this room we'll use that he looked at you surprised What? We we'll used that bottle. He came near and took the bottle from his hand while he was speechless. Okay then, are you ready? Jungkook sat on the bed. He smiled and spilled the bottle. Jungkook gulped as he started to feel nervous. The bottle stopped at him and he clapped her hand. Wow, she chose you. Okay, so truth or dare? Jungkook's ear turned pink. After a very long time, he was doing something fun in his life, and he really likes how cheerful you are. Truth, you smile. Okay, then. So, what's something you enjoy doing that no one knows about? He nodded and think for a while. I enjoy painting. It's something I do to relax when I have the time. Really? You said getting surprised. I would love to see your work sometime. He nodded. Then you again spin the bottle, and it was your chance this time. I'll choose truth as well. This is fun. We'll get to know something about each other. What something you've always wanted to do but haven't had the chance? He asked as his eyes meeting yours. You thought for a moment. I've always wanted to travel to Japan. I've heard it's a beautiful country and I've always been fascinated by its culture. He nodded. Maybe we can go together someday. You smiled. The idea of traveling with him bringing a warmth to your heart. I would love that. As the game continued, you got to know a lot of things about each other. But now is the time you finally want to ask him the question that always makes you curious. Truth or dare? You asked him when the bottle stopped at him. You felt a little bit bolder now. Jungkook hesitated for a moment. Truth. Have you ever been in love? You asked while he looked at you. You could see he wasn't expecting this question. You didn't move your eyes from him. Jungkook's expression grew distant. His eyes clouding with a mixture of pain and sadness. Yes, I have. You swallowed but decided to not back up. Oh, is that why you are not feeling this marriage? Maybe because you still love her? Jungkook looked at you. He could notice that you felt a little sad. There's something like that. I'm sorry that I made you feel that way. He said, looking down, and you knew there's something more to his answer. His story didn't end here. You didn't make me feel that way. I just asked you. This was an arrangement, so maybe you were forced to leave her. He shook his head. It ended years ago. What happened? You asked, gathering your courage while he looked at you for some time. He decided to open up with you so you won't misunderstand anything. Jungkook, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to interfere in your life. It's just I'm curious to know the reason behind your behavior. You're not at all what you show. It's like you force yourself to be like this. Your eyes say a lot, Jungkook. His heart skipped a beat. He was surprised at how confident you were about him and how positive about things. You have seen a different side of him when he somewhere forgot that he was a very happy once. We broke up, or should I say, she broke up with me. Said I was a terrible person that no woman would want someone like me, someone who doesn't understand emotions. You felt pain in his voice. Your heart ached for him. That's not true, Jungkook. You're not a terrible person. 
He shook his head, still looking away. You don't understand. She made me doubt myself, made me believe I can't love anyone. And maybe she was right. Maybe I was really a terrible person. That's why I've been distant. I'm afraid to love you because I don't want to hurt you. You took his hand and yours. Jungkook, you're not a terrible person. You are kind and you care more than you let on. I can see that. How can you let such words define you? He finally looked at you. I know I'm hurting you as well by my actions, by my behavior. I want to change but I didn't know if that change would be positive or not. I don't want to hurt anyone at this point. You don't have to change anything and I never felt hurt Jungkook because I know you are not that type of person. I saw care in your eyes. Your actions give me hope to stay, to try to give you time and there's nothing to hurry about. We can take things slowly, right? Jungkook was amazed and touched by your level of understanding. You know this happens with me as well once in college. A guy whom I liked since school days, he told me I'm no match for him and that he would he would prefer to stay single than dating a girl like me. He got a little curious to know what happened after that. You got up. Do you know what happened after that? You said looking at him while he shook his hand. The college's most popular guy proposed to me the day after that. You would have seen that guy's face. Although I didn't accept his proposal because I decided not to get into these relationships and all that holds no meaning in future but I never let anyone affect me. I don't care what they think of me because I know who I am. You came near him and you shouldn't either. You know who you are. Maybe that was not the right time but you should know what you are. She might have not understood you. It was her problem. You shouldn't feel this way and also you should not say that you are afraid to love me. There's nothing to be afraid of. Love is a beautiful thing. Jungkook was just looking at you. He was speechless. You put your hand on his shoulder. I know it's not that easy to break down these walls that you have built around you, but you have to try. I would love to be a part of your life. What if you don't like me? You scoffed slightly. I would have already ran away if that was the case. Imagine I've been keeping up with you, your cold nature and still caring about you. You can already imagine what happens if we fall in love. His heart skipped a beat. Now he was ready to break free these walls. He got up before coming near. Then help me be a part of my journey where we fall for each other. A smile appeared on your face as you gave a nod. I'm all ready.